child deaths are a concern in western Virginia. Virginia's chief medical examiner says that they are seeing an increase in the numbers of deaths to infants and toddlers this year, especially in the western medical examiner's office. 41 infants and toddlers have died in the western region alone. Many of the deaths are trauma and co-sleeping cases. This past weekend in Harrisonburg, a two-year-old fell from a three-story bedroom window and died. And joining us now to discuss the situation is Wanda Willis, fire education officer with the Harrisonburg <laughs> Fire Department and coordinator for the Central Shenandoah Valley Safe Kids. Wanda, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, let's begin by talking about that uh, horrible incident this past weekend where a, a two-year-old fell from a three-story bedroom window and died. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the circumstances surrounding that? We understand there was a screen in the window and the child was one that, like I used to have, a child that climbed a lot. and. Um, unfortunately, he fell out of the, the window, and when the parents found him, he was on the ground. This is things that happen like this all the time, where it's just an instant where that child does something and you're not able to be with them all the time, and they fall. And so it's very unfortunate for the family and, and for all of us that are in uh, emergency services to see things like this happen. Certainly is. A prevention idea in, in that instance, what would it be? Because obviously there's a lot of people out here that have to have their windows open mm -hmm. in the summer. Well, one of the things we were talking earlier about is maybe putting your window down and leaving, pulling it down from the top of the window instead of fr putting it up from the bottom. Um, something simple like that might help. Again, it might not. If the little, little child is going to push on that window, he may still push on it. But it might give you one little extra boundary for that child. At least they're not there at the bottom mm -hmm. window. They'd have to go all the way up to the mm -hmm. top to try to get out and a little bit safer. And again, that's something that happened that's not um, something that could be prevented probably, but we want people to be aware of it. Okay. Um, you and I were talking earlier, and you told me that there have been two instances of children being backed over by a car, one in Harrisonburg, one in Augusta County, within the last two or three weeks. Fortunately, they survived, but mm -hmm. two instances of a child mm -hmm. being backed over. Mm -hmm. um, again, ideas and thoughts about that. One of the things with Safe Kids that we talk about is to make sure that when you get in that car, you walk around before you open the door and make sure there's no children out behind you. Another thing you can do is teach your children never to play in the driveway. And as we talked before, some kids will play, but make sure they're in front of the car. Um, I always try to teach my children never to play around the car because sometimes kids will use the car as a playground. They're in it so much they think of it as a toy and that they can open the doors and get in. Then you have the problem of heat-related uh, deaths in the car or trunk entrapment in the car. So just make sure that your children are not getting around the car at all and, and not playing near it. Um, another situation that uh, was talked about by the medical examiner, a lot of these, some of these deaths were co-sleeping. Can you tell us about that? Sometimes parents will sleep with the child when they're little because they feel like they have them near them and it will be something that they can kind of latch on to at night and if they hear them cry they'll they'll be able to get to them faster so we recommend never sleeping with your child always put the child in, in the crib and put it on its back so that you maybe have a baby monitor next to it but it's just highly um, not recommended to sleep with your child in the bed and the other thing not only did it mention uh, co-sleeping co deaths but it also mentioned trauma mm -hmm. um, is that, is that a wide encompassing category of that child a, deaths? That is a, a wide variety of deaths that could happen. Anything from swimming, uh, water safety that you want to think about, um, poisons. Um, and they really didn't tell what these children had died from. And also with that, we think of 41 deaths. We don't know how many were injured that were not um, in that report. So. Mm -hmm. Now, you're, you're planning to do some things mm -hmm. coming up that might help heighten awareness? Mm -hmm. And if anybody uh, wants awareness, we'll be glad to help them out. We are planning on doing a blitz of, of brochures, of all kinds of um, presentations, things like that, so we can make parents aware. All right, very good. Wanda Willis uh, with the fire department, but also with the Central Shenandoah Valley Safe Kids, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And now let's send it back.